let's take a look at question two then from this paper. So this question is all about the concept of a mixture. And the concept of what an element and a compound of a mixture are is going way back to your fundamentals when you first learned about chemistry as a, as a junior scientist. So an element is a pure substance which cannot be divided into other substances, and it's a textbook definition. But I always say to my chemistry students that an element is effectively something that you will find in the periodic table. So if you can't find the material listed on the periodic table, then it's not in its elemental or purest form. Um, and a mixture, I've just quoted the definition I found online for you here. So a mixture is a combination of two or more pure substances. So we see that key term pure coming across here, in which each pure substance retains its individual chemical properties. Um, and mixtures can be composed of solids, liquids, or gases. Now, this part here is really key for answering this multiple choice question. And I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, the part of the definition here, here where it says that it retains its individual chemical properties, what they mean here is that there has been no chemical change. So when you make a mixture in chemistry, there is no chemical change to any of the elements. And what that means is that the components or the parts of a mixture are easily separated. So they're easily separated as opposed to Say, for example, if you create water by reacting hydrogen and oxygen and you make some H2O. Okay, so if you make some H2O and you want to just balance that there, so we just balance that equation out. So hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, it's a very explosive reaction. It's the combustion of hydrogen and it will make water vapor for you and some liquid water. Um, this is a chemical reaction. And it's very difficult to drive that reaction in the reverse direction, to actually get the hydrogen element and the oxygen element to separate from each other in water. You have to pass electric current through it. And of course, that's electrolysis of water. So chemical change is not what you associate with mixtures. Making a mixture with different elements is a physical change. So in this question here, we're looking at four possible um, answers as usual A, B, C or D but the three statements that we have to decide if they are correct or not the first statement is the components may be elements or compounds so yes you can have a mixture of elements and compounds for example if I just scroll down my page here a bit so you can have a example of a mixture which has elements and compounds in it for example air so if you take air Air has oxygen in it. Now, even though there are two atoms of oxygen stuck together, there's still no other element present within that molecule, so this is still elemental and can be described as elemental oxygen. Um, within air itself, you also have carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide has two different elements which are combined, which therefore makes this a compound. And so in air, you have both elements and compounds being combined. So the first statement is correct. So we can tick off the first statement of the Roman numeral options. The second statement we'll come back to in a second. And the third option you have to state whether it's correct or not, it states the components retain their individual properties. And this is, of course, true because, as we said before, there's no chemical change when you make a mixture. So if you mix oxygen and CO2 and you come back to them, um, in a month's time, you'll still have pure oxygen, you still have your CO2, um, as long as we're just strictly talking about the mixture. So the third statement was true. And now you're looking at the second statement here. And the second statement stated that all components must be in the same phase. So if we go back to our definition here, in our definition, I did highlight this part, second part of the definition which talks about the fact that mixtures can be solid, liquid, or gaseous phase. Now, the IB teach you guys two definitions for a mixture. You're taught about a heterogeneous or heterogeneous mixture, and you're also taught about a homogeneous or homogeneous mixture. Now, what this means is a heterogeneous mixture has two different, two or more different phases for the components. So for example, you could have 
in this picture we I just chose here for you, you have sandy water. And in sandy water, you're going to have solid sand here sitting within the liquid water. So you have a solid plus a liquid, but they're mixed together. So this is what you would describe as a heterogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Um, another example, then, if we look back to our air example, within our air example, we just had gas phases that we were considering. Of course, you could have nitrogen gas being considered as well and the inert gases um, within air, but they're all in the same phase. So this would be an example of a homogeneous mixture. So that second statement that all components must be in the same phase is incorrect. So therefore, the correct combination for this question two was one and three, and that works out to be answer B. So this question was assessing, do you understand the concept of heterogeneous mixture versus homogeneous mixture?